Welcome back to Las Vegas. It's Alex Belfield in one of my favourite restaurants ever. The Eiffel Tower restaurant is overlooking the Bellagio Fountains. And, of course, Lyle's the general manager. How are you? Wonderful. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. I know we make this appointment every year, and I'm so glad we do because it's still the most spectacular of all restaurants. The food's fab, but the views just take it to another level, doesn't it? The view is wonderful, and it changes constantly. Every time I look out the window, you know, I, I see something new. There's new towers, new hotels, new casinos being built. It's incredible. I mean, I've been doing this show six years as we look to the uh, left of me. That wasn't there, city centre. The Bellagio was in front, but you, you're right. I mean, it's amazing year on year how many uh, things can change. It is. We used to have a beautiful view of all the mountainscapes. Now there's just a little sliver left. <laughs> and of course, you're in one of the most iconic uh, resorts here in Las Vegas. Paris is just unique. You can't miss it because of the Eiffel Tower. It's always wonderful to have your own landmark. <laughs> and you're in it. Talk to me about the actual building itself, because we're, we're quite a way up in the middle of the Eiffel Tower. Uh, it's a tremendous view, but it must be quite difficult to build this. I'm sure it was an easy building. It, um, it certainly was a challenge, and still even to today it's a challenge. If you need to move anything large into the restaurant, such as new equipment, um, the elevator is only a certain size, so th there are certain challenges. And of course the lady who's responsible for most of the food and the delightful lunch I've had today is here with us. How are you, Chef? Excellent, thank you. How are you? Thank you very much for a tremendous dinner. Um, is it more difficult doing it in a restaurant like this where you've got to get things up in a lift opposed to just being in a normal restaurant? Um, in the beginning, it was a little bit challenging because we have to move the food from downstairs to upstairs, but after 12 years, you get used to it. Is it nice also being one of the most iconic restaurants in Las Vegas? You can't miss it, can you? Uh, exactly. Everybody knows where you are. So and There's a lot of people catching on now. I noticed I was in a couple of restaurants this week where they have windows. I know that might sound stupid, but most restaurants don't have windows in this town, do they? Correct. Most of the restaurants are in a casino, so you know the view here is quite different and spectacular. It can be stifling, can't it, Lyle, actually, when you're in restaurants that are dark and uh, without windows. It is refreshing in this town to, to, to enjoy the view. It certainly is, and it, you know, for us it makes a wonderful corner office, but just it brings a lot more excitement into the room. You're not closed into a four-wall room. And it's also the event getting here, you have to come up in the lift, you find the specific entrance. It's all quite exciting, and for people who come here the first time, they must be gobsmacked. They are. Um, actually, as you enter the restaurant, you come up the elevator, and when the elevator door is open, you're standing right in the center of Chef's Kitchen. So that adds another element of surprise and excitement. Talk to me um, about the kitchen itself. How many people have you got working in there? Uh, on a given night, I have anywhere from 12 to 16 people working in the kitchen. Fabulous. And the cuisine, well, it's mixed. You do all different kinds of food. Obviously, some people want the steaks and things like that. For lunch, I just had the uh, fish salad, which was gorgeous. Where do you source your fish from? Because there aren't many swimming about in the desert, are there? Well, this day and age, you know, we have airplanes, <laughs> FedEx, next day delivery. So, yeah, we do have to get all of our fish from the coast, you know, from LA, um, uh, New England area. But they're pretty, you put in the order and next day it's here. So, How important is the quality of food? Because there's an awful lot of competition, isn't there? I mean, there's the buffet downstairs, uh, which I visited the other day. Um, it's just buffet food, basically. Mm -hmm. I mean, anybody can, can sample that. This has got to be better, hasn't it? It's got to catch your eye. Yeah, quality of the food is everything. If you don't have top-notch ingredients, it's impossible to produce food um, had to have a final product that's any good. So, yeah. And your job, I suppose, is not ruining the food. I was just talking about a restaurant I was at uh, yesterday, and it was as if they tried too hard. I had the scallops, which had got sauces all over them, and they'd been double-seared, and then they'd put mushrooms on top. Actually, a good ingredient can be fine by itself. Oh, absolutely. So, you know, our job is to just enhance the ingredients that we have on hand instead of overpowering it or hiding it or masking it in any way. What's the most complicated dish you do then? If I were to order one thing on the menu that's going to make you concentrate, what would that be? Most complicated dish? Wow. Perhaps um, we're very well known for our souffles, uh, savory as well as our dessert souffles. And I think if, from a layman's point of view, it's probably the most complicated because it's basically building something out of eggs and air. Mm. And it's all about the timing, isn't it? Exactly. Timing is everything. We're actually doing something, something interesting with the souffles now. For 12 years, every evening, about 5.30 or thereabouts, we taste all six flavors of the souffles for quality, consistency. Um, we've just recently started a weekly trivia question on Facebook in which if you answer the question correctly or put into a random drawing, the winner gets to come in with three guests and 
join Chef for the souffle tasting. Fabulous. So, so h- how do I get involved in this then? <laughs> well, you'll have to get on Facebook and answer the question. And whenever you're in town, it doesn't have to be immediately after you win the contest. Um, you'll let us know and we'll schedule a souffle tasting. It happens every day. Very good. And that's the Eiffel Tower restaurant on Facebook, is it? Eiffel Tower restaurant on Facebook, yes. Very good. And lunch compared to dinner changes how? Uh, lunch is more of a laid-back, casual concept. We want people to come in and relax and enjoy uh, sandwiches, salads, uh, things like that. Dinner is more of a... I don't want to say formal, but more um, sophisticated affair. You know, the light, the sun goes down, the lights come up, and we want people to have, you know, wine and dine to the fullest. So We haven't mentioned the word romantic yet, but of an evening, this is the place to be, isn't it? I mean, if you're going to propose, this must be a place to do it. Do you get that a lot? Proposals, generally two to three a night. Um, we've seen as many as 20 in an evening, Valentine's Day. We're actually, we have specific proposal packages now in which Chef creates a menu and we do a beautiful window table and we haven't had a no yet. The reason it's so magical is because we're stood here in front of the uh, dancing fountains which go off about every half an hour. You can't necessarily hear them, uh, but you can see them and at night with the lights, it is just spectacular. It is, it's absolutely wonderful. For you as the chef, is it exciting finding a restaurant that sticks out and that everybody talks about? It must be a dream gig, really. Oh, totally is. I mean, I have the best view in town. Sometimes I feel like, okay, I have to put my food you know, level a little higher to compete with the view mm. to make sure that the people are coming for the food as well as for the view. And I suppose it's a good place if your relationship's not going so well. You've got something to look at all night so you don't need to feel awkward. Absolutely. In any trouble you can get in, we can get you out of here. <laughs> exactly. Especially with the food. Um, cocktails as well, that's a big part of what you do. There's a fabulous bar as you walk in. Uh, what would you recommend? I think um, probably the Eiffel Affair. It's um, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, a uh, bit of blueberry vodka, and we top that off with a little champagne. Delicious, refreshing. I think it might be time for one of those, Lyle. What do you think? We'll have one right over. <laughs> Hey, listen, thank you very much for talking to me, and congratulations. I always love coming here. Uh, the view's spectacular, the food's tremendous, and to find that m- kind of mix and match in Vegas is rare, isn't it? You don't always get both. Correct, yeah. So you'll have to find it at the Eiffel Tower. Chef, thank you very much for talking to me, and always a pleasure to come to the Eiffel Tower restaurant. And Lyle, thank you. Thank you.